Layer 2 network Arbitrum surpasses Ethereum in daily transactions. Arbitrum's dominance among the Layer 2 landscape continues to grow in quarter 1 of 2023, as the number of unique addresses on Arbitrum reaches an all-time high. On Tuesday, February 21, Layer 2 scaling solution Arbitrum surpassed Ethereum in daily transactions, increasing Arbitrum's dominance as the leading Layer 2 roll-up. The number of daily transactions on the Arbitrum, the fourth largest blockchain overall in terms of total value locked TVL, jumped from 159,918 in daily transactions on January 1 to over 1,103,388 at the time of press, representing a roughly 580% increase in less than two months, according to Block Explorer Arbiskin. In comparison, the number of daily transactions on Ethereum increased a meager 46% in the same period to 1,084,290 per Etherscan. Moreover, the number of unique addresses on Arbitrum's network has reached an all-time high of about 2.95 million addresses, and data from TVL aggregator Defi Llama shows that Arbitrum's TVL jumped 81% since January 1 to roughly $1.85 billion. Arbitrum's move ahead of Ethereum follows GMX, a decentralized perpetual exchange native to Arbitrum, overtaking Ethereum and daily fees last week. The growing Layer 2 ecosystem has also seen many financial applications emerge like Camelot, Vela Exchange, and Radiant Capital, which have all seen their users and transactions increase by over 100% in the past 24 hours, per Nansen data. Despite Arbitrum's boost in transactions and addresses, Arbitrum is still lagging behind Ethereum in terms of network fees. At press time, Ethereum's one-day fees stand at $6.07 million, while Arbitrum's one-day fees sit at roughly $154,000, which is less than 2.3% of Ethereum's network fees for the day, according to CryptoFees. Info. The increased activity on Arbitrum may stem from users hoping and speculating about a potential Arbitrum airdrop, despite the lack of plans and announcements from Arbitrum developers about a potential token drop. According to Walter Tang, Vice President of Digital Asset Strategy at Fundstrat Global Advisors, 